Hey, what's up guys? It's Sinu here back on a video and today we are going to take a look at how to make a really nice 3D correct logo on Android. So we are going to be using two apps. The first one is the one that I'm using right now which is called Pixel Lab and the second one which is called Adobe Photoshop Touch, sorry. So both of those uh, apps are going to be in the description below of this video. You can download them for free. Let's start up with uh, Pixel Lab by creating a brand new text. Make sure that the text is the first letter of your very own channel. Uh, it's C for me, but for this video, I'm going to I'm going to have and just choose R. It's really random in the purpose of this video. Now, for the next step, of course, you are going to resize this text right over here, make it more bigger, like so, and center it on the middle of the screen. And once that's done, you can go ahead and just change the font because the default font is really sucks. So if you press on fonts right over here, you'll find the tons of fonts right over here. And the one that I advise you, advise you to use is this one right over here. And if you guys would like to change it, change it. But this one really fits our today's effect. So make sure you choose it. So for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and just press on that. 3D text and if you press on it and hit on enable you will notice that now we have a 3D letter which is the thing that we are aiming for so now hit on that 3D rotation and just rotate it in three dimensions like so until you get a nice angle so I'm not trying I'm not telling you guys to get the exact same angle as mine but just go ahead and just try to get the angle that you like so um, I'm actually fine with this. I'm going to just adjust it like so and there we go hit on the check mark button So for the next step to add more realistic looking into our logo We are going to add the 3d shadow into this text So it's going to look more real so hit on that 3d shadow option and then hit on enable And as you can see right over here, we have this 3d shadow It looks really cool and of course you can expand it you can make it more bigger so as you can see right over here, um, it looks really nice and realistic. So next up, we are going to add the cracked effect into our text. So hit on that texture uh, option, which is right over here on this list. So if you press on it, it's going to allow you to just import your very own texture. So I'll leave a link in the description below for uh, to download this texture right over here, because I know the majority of you guys don't have it. So I'll leave it for you guys in the description below. You can download it and import it, like, import it sorry, like so. And as you can see, we have this really cool cracked effect into our 3d letter which is really nice so the next step that I advise you to do to your very own text is to add an interior shadow so if you guys go ahead and just press on that interior shadow option hit on enable as you can see it's going to make our text pops even more which is really cool and there we have it now we are actually pretty much done with our logo right over here so now let's move on to the background so hit on that overlay tab right over here and it's going to give you this brand new list hit on that transparent which is really really important guys so hit on transparent and then hit on those three dots right over here hit on export image and don't forget this step it's really important hit on that format and switch it to png that's really really important so once that done hit on that save to gallery button and your image will be saved into your very own gallery so once you guys done that, go ahead and head over to Photoshop Touch, create a brand new project, the resolution is 1000 per 1000 and once that, then go ahead and just import the logo that we just made using Pixel Lab and make sure you go ahead and scale it up or just, you know, zoom in, make it more bigger, center it and hit on that check mark button and once that applied, you can go ahead and move on to the background. So the background, I suggest you go ahead with the white, so fill it with the white and if you want to fill it with any other color, go ahead and do it, but I really like the look of of the white and so go ahead and just go to fill and stroke just like so and there we have it guys so we have this logo so I'm going to add a effect called the gradient so I'm going to make all the corners darker just a little bit darker right over here so as you can see it gave us this effect now this is not necessary but I really love the look of those like dark colors which is a dark, a dark sorry corners which is really cool and of course uh, the rest guys you can go ahead and mess around with the tint and the levels, the brightness and the contrast. It's all up to you guys, just be creative. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and just drop a like down below. That would mean a lot for me. And also guys, check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed me already. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out.